Hey, what's good everybody? It's Lance again, and I'm coming at you again with another movie review. Today, I'm going to review the newest Maze Runner film, The Death Cure, directed by Wes Ball and starring Dylan O'Brien. I can handle Thomas. He'll show up eventually. That's what I'm afraid of. This film is three years in the making. Obviously, we had the unfortunate accident of Dylan O'Brien on set, who actually delayed the film significantly for about almost two years um, after its initial release date. But now we finally get it three years later, and this film is fine. It's okay. It's not the best film in the world, but it's not really that terrible either. Dylan O'Brien, again, shows great strengths as an actor. I really like to see him in a better movie because I feel like all the films that he's done, especially the television shows he's done, he would be the beneficiary of just a really, really, really good director and a really good plot and a really good story. Not to put the Maze Runner down, but... These last two installments, The Maze Runner and The Maze Runner, The Scorched Trials, weren't exactly my cup of tea. I thought they were fine pieces of franchise uh, novelty. I thought they were just okay. At the same time, I just don't think that the film, you know, does anything new that we haven't seen in other adult, young adult adaptations before. And when it comes to dystopian, post-apocalyptic futures, this doesn't do anything out of the ordinary. It's very bland in that way. And that was really my main issue with the film. Um, also, the runtime is really big. It's like two, two hours and 23 minutes. And you feel it. There's some people that say you don't feel it. But I, I, I felt it. I was checking my phone thoroughly throughout this film because... Quite frankly, unless you were really, 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 really invested into the franchise, you will probably not care about these some of these characters. You won't care about some of the stuff that happens to them. You will not care about the whole plot and Wicked, the virus that turns everybody into zombies. You know, why are they just torturing these kids just trying to find a cure for this monstrous disease? It's just sometimes, like, you don't really care. And I just didn't care for me. Like, it, it just was one of those things where I was writing the lines of just not giving too much of a damn about the film. However, there are some great action sequences in this movie. There are some really well competently directed action. I have to commend Wes Ball for that because I feel like any other director probably would have just made this another uh, version of like Transformers or whatever. Like any other blockbuster that doesn't do really do a good job of action. This does. So I have to commend that. However, like I said before, like everything involved in this movie, it doesn't go above and beyond. So there's like no crazy out of the box sequences but what it does is just delivers on just like an entertainment level uh some action some competent action and it's not bad i just feel like this is the third film of a trilogy uh i feel like it would have had some more merit if it would have came out a year or two ago but now since it came out in 2018 and we're way past the dystopian young adult futuristic a uh, trend that was happening in hollywood with the hunger games divergence uh, and all these other like young adult epic adaptations like Twilight. I think that since we're way past that, I feel like the film loses a lot of its merit and has a lot of its appeal. I don't think it'll make that much money and if it does, people because they want to see Dylan O'Brien and maybe they are fans of the Maze Runner franchise, who knows, but in my opinion, I didn't really think that this will be a film that I will remember at all. Probably I won't even remember it next month, honestly. I probably would be like, oh yeah, the Maze Runner just ended. Oh, yeah, okay. If I had to give this movie a rating from a scale of 1 to 10, I'll just give it a 5.25, or just a 5. Um, you know, I don't want to, like, be that generous, but I'm just going to give it a 5. I thought it was fine. It was okay. I didn't think that it was bad or terrible. I just didn't think that it was anything I haven't seen a hundred times over. Anyway, that's it for today's video. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll do my Oscar predictions again soon. Uh, hopefully, by next week. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.